Hi, my name is Ryan Zeck. I work with Trimec out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, I would like to show you how to fill a cavity or estimate the volume that fills a cavity. And it's fairly simple, straightforward. One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert a new part into this assembly. That's going to be insert, component, new part. When I do that, I can choose my template. And in fact, right now, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape and cancel that command, although it did put my part into my assembly. Let me go ahead and rename that. Now, I can go ahead and take this, and I'll edit that component. And all I want to do is insert features join. I'll window around all of the part files. I can leave this off, click OK, and now it has filled that cavity with all the parts. Let's go ahead and open that up. Inside of our part file, now what we want to do, and we can verify that it has a volume. You can see that it's created with all those, those parts in it. However, what we want is to fill this up. And in order to do that, we need to cap all of the openings. So we'll go ahead and create a plane here. Offset of zero. And then all we have to do is use intersect. We'll select the plane. We'll select everything else. We'll say intersect. We'll exclude the region that we don't want and include the region that fills the void. Click OK. So it's showing us the exact volume. So we can get now a uh, calculation of how much fluid it can be in there. Um, and that's very useful. Hopefully you've enjoyed this very quick tip. And until next time, happy designing.